Hello, in this lesson, we're going to talk about absolute inequalities. So uh, in this lesson, I'm going to introduce you modulus of x to be equals to square root of x square, right? Uh, this is uh, another form which you can write modulus x as the square root of x square because for sure if you square after you square a number uh, either they are negative or they are positive you square you will get a positive number you square root for sure you will get a positive number so why i introduce this because i'm going to use this to uh, intro, uh to derive the formula for absolute inequalities for example if i have modulus x greater than uh equals to a for example if i have modulus x greater or equals to a so i have to use this concept here where i can rewrite the modulus x to be square root of x square greater or equals a so uh, if happen to be here have a square root right so i can square both sides all right i do squaring both sides sorry I do squaring both sides, which is a to the power of 2, right? a to the power of 2. So, you will have square root and the square, you will get the x square. And you have greater equals a to the power of 2. Alright, so now you're going to uh, treat this like a quadratic. Uh, is a square of a difference so different of square so you have x minus a x plus a right x minus a x plus a greater or equal zero right uh, you learn the formula right the a square minus b square is a minus b a plus b so x square minus a square is x minus a x plus a greater or equal zero so this is a quadratic it's a quadratic so i use the graphical method to solve this problem a okay i will put negative a and for negative a i will put a right uh, so greater or equal zero this is your x-axis the graph above uh, this one the region this region this region Whereas the y value, the y value is uh, positive, right? The y value is positive. As we see, this is a positive, right? Positive. So the result will be from this inequality, the solution for this result will be x less than negative a, this region, or x greater or equal a, right? So what, what, what can you... Uh, what can you get from this derivation? So, means that if you have modulus x greater or equal a, you will get the result of x less or equal negative a or x greater or equal a, right? Uh, so this will be your, your first formula the first formula, basic definition. Uh, we said it to be basic definition for absolute value. Basic definitions for absolute values. So for greaters, you have this. Uh, if you have x greater or e greater than a, the result will be still the same. All right. As long as they are greater, either they are equal or no equal it will be still the same or but they are no equal right uh, if they are no equal so you have no equal greater than a all right so how about less than right how about uh if the case if the modulus x the modulus x is less than a right less than or equal a so okay i just modify from this uh inequalities Let's say if this is less or equal, right? Uh, less or equal. All right. So if this becomes less or equal, this is also less or equal. 
So you were still doing the square both sides, it's still the same. The derivation will still be the same. Just the sign I reverse, right? So you have less or equal zero. Alright. So what is the what is the conclusion if you reverse this? So this is also will be reverse. So of course the region become the negative, right? Ah, this one you need to consider the negative value of y. So this is your graph of quadratic. The y value is positive above the x-axis, right? And now the result will be changed where it's no longer in this region, uh, but it's below the x-axis, the region below the x-axis. So this will give you negative a between negative a and a. It's between negative a and a. So this will be your result for modulus x. Modulus x less or equal a will give you the result x in between a and negative a. Ah. So it's a very important result. Oh, you have to study this, alright? If you have more than less than a, it will be still the same. Just no equal, right? Uh, no equal on the inequality. So, alright, this is a very important uh, result before we go to the example for absolute inequalities. So, you have to be very familiar with this formula. Every time you solve with absolute inequalities, this will be the uh, this will be the basic definition. Okay, we talk about this is a basic definition for absolute inequality. So uh, I hope you understand, and let's look at the example.